Morning, everybody. Um, hope you had a good night's sleep. Um, peace and go to work. I want to go ahead and get this done since I actually had a little bit of extra time this morning. Yay for getting up earlier. Um, I'm really bad at that. Never been a morning person. Um, I just want to talk to everybody right quick about leaning on Jesus. That's what I titled this. Um, so many times we go through such hard things that knocks us off of our feet and it discourages us. Um, things that we didn't see coming. Um, things that frighten us, things that worry us, um, just different things of life that happen to all of us, different storms that come our way. And whenever those times come, we need to lean on Jesus. Um, he wants us to. He's our, he's our elder brother. He's our strength. He's our strong tower. He's our deliverer. He's our defender. So we need to lean on him. We need to lean on our Christian brothers and sisters that surround us, our church families, those that we trust, that we know um, are not going to go run and tell them everything that we tell them. Uh, we need to find someone we have confidence in that we can lean on during those times. And then they in turn know they, they can come and lean on you whenever you know they're going through a hard time. Uh, we need to depend on others sometimes to, to be there for us, just like we depend on um, our family to be there for us. We need to depend on our Christian brothers and sisters to be there for us. And Jesus is always there for us. And um, he wants us to lean on him. He wants us to trust him and allow him to strengthen us and help us. In the Bible, uh, in one of the Gospels, probably in all four of them, it re uh, relates the story of when the disciples were out in the boat in the middle of the night and it was stormy and um, they were afraid. And they saw Jesus passing by, but they didn't know it was Jesus. They thought it was just a ghost or something. And the, the, one, of the, one of the Gospels says this, that he would have passed by, but they called out to him. And when, he called, when they called out to him, he turned and got into the boat. And when he got into the boat, peace came. The storm stopped. So sometimes we have to cry out to Jesus. You know, um, he's, he's passing by us all the time. And we need to reach out to him and uh, get his attention. Um, uh, we had heard a message one time at our church, you know, where the blind man in the Bible, the crowds were all gathered around because Jesus was coming through. And, and he wanted healing. And he knew he couldn't get to Jesus because he was blind. So he just started yelling, uh, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And the crowd told him to be quiet and hush. But Jesus heard him. And he said, bring him to me. And they're like, okay, be of good cheer. He's calling for you. So sometimes we have to cry out to him. We have to call out to him and say, Jesus, please, I need help. We need to lean on him. Because uh, he'll be there for us and he'll be our strength. So I just want to pray for anyone right now that's struggling, that feels weak and exhausted, and you don't know where, where else to turn. Turn to Jesus. God, we just thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for your blessings. God, we thank you, Lord God, for your goodness and your love toward us. Oh, God, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. We thank you for the gift of Jesus, for the plan of salvation, that all we have to do is just receive him into our hearts, and we can become a Christian. I pray for those, Father, that are struggling right now, that are weak and have been fighting for a long time, and they're tired, and the battle is just, it's wearing them out, wearing them down. It's worrying them. It's causing them to be afraid. I ask that you help them to know that they can lean on you during those times, oh God, and that you will be their strength and their strong tower that they can run to. You will be their peace, and you will fight the battle for them. God, we thank you in advance for strength today, for strengthening, and for encouraging, and for filling with peace in the name of jesus we give you all the praise all the glory and the honor in jesus name we pray amen so if you're tired and afraid and you're weary from the battle cry out to jesus lean on jesus he's there for you he wants to help you um he is our peace and our comfort he is everything you know without him we can do nothing um i can't imagine trying to live one day of my life without god in it i, I could make it uh, there's just no way so if you're running from Jesus, stop running. It's just one step back to him. Um, and if you're not running from him, if you already serve him, lean on him. Um, trust in him. Um, I've learned to depend on Jesus. And um, I'm thankful for him because he's there for us. And like I said, get your Christian brothers and sisters that you know are going to uh, keep your confidence and not, not go around telling everybody. Everything that you tell them, they're going to pray for you, and they're going to hold you up as well. And together we can make it. We are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. I hope you have a great Wednesday. Uh, it's church night, so like I, say, I said last Wednesday, 
if you don't have a home church and you live in this area, I invite you to the Four City Church of God down by the sports complex in Four City. Um, that's kind of a giveaway when it's, I say Four City Church of God. I, I probably don't have to say it's in Four City. But anyway, I do that every time. But the youth are going to have their service tonight out in the Life Center. And then the adults will have a Bible study in the sanctuary. If you have a home church, show up and be faithful. And uh, go with the intention of being blessed, but also go with the intention of being a blessing. You know, we don't have to leave the same way we walked into our church services. We can always leave different. We can leave encouraged and uplifted. Um, like I said yesterday, hey, testify. Testify about God's goodness. Uh, let him hear out loud you singing his praises and to see what he might not do for you. Uh, but anyway, love y'all. Have a great Wednesday. Be good. Be kind. Be loving. Be victorious. Be blessed. Trust and lean on Jesus. Love y'all. Bye.